What is happening, you filthy, filthy animals? Welcome to Today Ends and Why, presented by Boots and Fins, and yours truly, the one, the only, Brandon. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Today is an awesome day. It is Monday, and I cannot be any more excited than I am now. Like, I just cannot reach another level because this week is a huge trip for me that. I've been planning for a while. Some good friends of mine from high school are getting married up in North Carolina. So I'm making a trip all the way up to North Carolina from Orlando. It's about a nine or nine hour drive, it's looking like, eight and a half maybe. So luckily it's like a straight shot up 95. So it, it'll be it'll be a rough one, but it, it'll be worth it totally. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to jump on this podcast today and kind of show you guys what I have cooking because I just dropped the Bear Lake camping video. I dropped the podcast about the Bear Lake camping video, and I kind of wanted to review my editing job and kind of like, as I dropped the video, I was like, like critique myself, you know, a little bit because I learned so much um, from the the video editing process and kind of learned what I need to do when I'm camping, which camera to use. It's just a, it was a huge learning experience for me, but we'll get onto that in the back end of this episode. Right now, I want to tell you guys what I'm doing because I'm super excited and I'm so pumped and I have like nothing prepared right now. <laughs> like I leave on Friday morning, like super early, maybe like five, six in the morning, maybe earlier if I want to. And I don't have like anything ready, so kind of a hot mess right now, but I'm like too excited to like work on things right now. So today I got my clothes, my outfit for the, the wedding because I'm 25 years old and I don't own uh, clothes that fit me, uh, <laughs> uh, especially nice ones. So I had to go get a, you know, a whole, whole suit, a blazer and, you know, slacks and some new shoes just because it didn't match, you know. I, I just feel like I'm an adult. I can't just show up, like, you know, eighth grade middle school dance with, like, uh, you know, just a collared shirt and a tie, like, with my Vans on or something crazy, you know. Like, I just can't bring myself to do that. So I felt like I needed to make the adult decision and be like, okay, let me splurge on something that fits me, something that looks nice, something that looks like I'm, you know, a functioning member of society. Because as you guys can see, this ridiculously sexy beard is just over the top. So I had to like kind of mask it a little bit. I'm, you know, I'm just full mountain man right now, which I absolutely love. And it fits the character so well. It's not really character, it's just me. But anyways, I'm like rambling because I'm like so excited. But I got my outfit for the trip. So that's a start. I need to get my oil changed in my car because I just drove all that way up to Pensacola area. And so I really need to do that. I need to pack everything, charge batteries, set up, get everything together so that it's good to go. Luckily, I have a lot of leftover stuff, like uh, some firewood and stuff, like um, just like propane and, and things I need. Like I have my cooler and everything. So, And I'm staying in a hotel to begin with. So let me get back into that because I'm getting off topic. But so I'm driving up to North Carolina right? For this wedding. Um, gonna see a bunch of old friends. Uh, one of my best friends lives up in DC, so it's gonna be awesome. Shout out to you know who you are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be really cool. Gonna go to North Carolina. I've only really driven through North Carolina, so it'll be pretty fun just to check out the, the sites. Um, we're gonna be there. I'm gonna get there Friday. Saturday's the wedding. Sunday, we're gonna explore. Um, and then Monday, which is really cool, my video is going to continue from the wedding kind of style video, my little travels up there and, and stuff. It'll probably be a couple part series because I'm going to be gone for an entire week and a half ish so far is what I'm planning. I got it over here on the whiteboard. I'll show you guys 
I got it all written out, but it's not even fully planned. Just the beginning leg of the trip is planned. So I'm meeting up with one of my friends who lives up in the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina, which is awesome. And I'm going to camp out on his property. He's got like 25 acres of land. So on elevation, which is going to be absolutely beautiful. If the weather holds out, I'm like praying that the weather gods like keep the rain to a minimum so I can like actually enjoy being outside. Uh, it shouldn't be too cold, I don't think. So should be good for that. Um, but it's going to be exciting because it's not car camping. It's like I got to pack out pretty much everything up to this hill or elevated campsite, which is, I don't know, like he was saying it's like a, I've never been there and I don't even have any pictures for reference, but he's saying it's like a 20 minute hike up to the campsite. So that's uh, a couple trips there <laughs> back and forth with some supplies. So that'll be interesting to say the least, but I think it'll be super cool just to be out in mother nature, pure it's purest form, you know, you know, away from civilization. And I'm going to get some amazing shots for you guys. I'm going to practice with my drone and the new camera and my GoPro and get some really great footage. Whereas this last trip, I kind of slacked on the, the footage was subpar. I mean, I had a lot of footage luckily for this trip, but I will say that I kind of, I kind of, uh, dropped the ball a little bit. I didn't, a lot of my shot. I had a lot of really cool ideas for shots that I took and they just came out super shaky and and whatnot. So this this trip is going to be 10 times better. I promise you guys it's going to be even better than this video. And if you guys really like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel for further content because this will be dropping right now or really soon. Today's Monday, so it'll be dropping either today or Tuesday. And then I will be on the road for a week and a half. I'll try to get some editing done uh, while I'm there, but we'll see because I'm going to be like just filming more stuff. So it might give it might take me a couple weeks to get this all together for you guys. But I'll have a podcast right when I get back. Um, so I'll have a week without content, but in two weeks. Uh, I will have the podcast and then and then the actual video, a couple part series of videos will come out. So it's really exciting. So I'm going to spend a week there or at least Monday to Thursday or Friday tentatively. Spend up there hiking and catching up with uh, some, some friends and uh, just seeing the sights out there. So from Orlando to Raleigh, North Carolina to the Smoky Mountains, and then from there, I'm trying to meet up with some friends. It's not final yet, but I'm trying to meet up with some friends in Nashville, which would be even awesome because I've never been to Nashville, so scoot over to Nashville. I'm really thinking that's going to happen. I'm just going to go send it, and you know, I'm trying to soak up my... I'm trying to soak up my summer. So my summer classes for college start June 8th, so in like three weeks. So I'm trying to do all of this, literally come back like the Tuesday that my classes start. So I think that'll be pretty sick. Um, I think it'll work perfectly. I'll have my, you know, first week of school, but I'll also be able to edit these videos and stuff. So like, I'm just like uber excited. But as you guys can see on the board, I have it all planned out. So we're going from Orlando to Raleigh to... Smoky Mountains to Nashville, Tennessee, and then from there, stay the weekend, and then come down and stay somewhere in Georgia, just because it's like a nine-hour trip back, and like after driving nine hours, and then five hours, or nine hours, and four hours, then five hours, like it's going to be, it's going to be kind of grueling, so I'm going to try to break it up a little bit and do like, go some, maybe like northern Georgia or somewhere I've never been and stay there and then make the final trip after I have a night of just resting at the campsite um, or a B&B. &B. We'll kind of see see how I feel because I'm going to be doing a lot of camping. 
But yes, so guys, it's a week and a half long trip, and I'm really excited because I think I'm going to get some really cool footage for you guys, make a dope-ass video, and just get a kind of a better perspective of what I really want to do, which is travel to new places, like far away from here in the mountains, and you know, it, it was cool to go to Pensacola or north of Pensacola, but you know, it's not the same as, like, getting out of the state, and, you know, you feel, like, very adventurous when you do that, so it's going to be really cool. I get to meet up with some friends and also kind of do my own thing and then make a whole freaking trip of it to end my little summer vacation, so, man, that was a lot. That was a lot, guys. Whew, I got to calm down. I got, I got my uh, energy drink here, which is not helping me because I'm just, like, already, like, wired, but I know I'm addicted to caffeine, I guess. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I have that big trip coming up this weekend, and then things will settle down a little bit uh, once school starts. I'm just going to kind of give it a couple weeks to see what my what those classes. I'm only taking two classes, but we'll see what they, uh, you know, what they're what they're like, what the course load's looking like. It's a sh it's a shortened summer term, so it's going to be quick paced, but I'm hoping that it's not like too crazy. But anyways, so that is my itinerary for this weekend. Um, well, next week and a half, actually. And I have so much to do to pack and get ready for, but I'm going to document all of it for you guys. So you'll be able to come along with me. And hopefully, you know, I can generate some more some more love from you guys. Uh, my videos have already done very well for, you know, not having many videos. It's it's always difficult when you start from scratch, like when you start a new channel. Like my other channel, you know, has done pretty well. And we had, I don't know, maybe close to 20 videos on it. And I'm at like 1,700 views and like 70 plus, maybe like 75 to 80 hours of views. And it's like... It just sucks that I have I had to restart, but I'm just like so much happier doing my own thing. And you know, I just if by any chance, which it's really not like my highest priority, but if by chance I get, you know, a bit more of a following and like the monetization happens and things like that, I just wanna have a smooth transition where it's just me and you know, I'm not worrying about a partner and splitting stuff and in in yeah I just I'm just better working alone in that aspect um especially when it's like something I care so much about so anyways that's my little spiel but I love you guys for the love that you've already given me on these videos the likes and views and hopefully you guys share it with your friends once I get better because I'm telling you guys right now don't count me out I'm going to be putting out some really high quality content. I'm getting better every single time. I think even this time you'll see uh, some progress with my cameras. I've kind of learned how to tune both cameras to fix the white balance and, um, you know, the shutter speed, the aperture, ISO, all those things that you need to have a similar view, a crisp, you know, view on camera, but these, the GoPro and the Sony have, are very different, right? The Sony is way newer, newer of a camera where I have the Hero 7 and this is a brand new, um, Sony camera with, you know, 20 megapixels. So it just took me a little while to figure that out, but I think now it's going to look a lot better. It's going to look more, you know, similar and symmetrical, I guess, between the two cameras. Cause I really do like the, the split view, the two views, um, when I'm doing this podcast. So, you know, a lot of these podcasts will be me kind of learning and, you know, sharing with you guys what I've learned and whatnot, because, you know, this is my my outlet. And uh, I love doing it, guys. I love it. But anyways, let's get moving on. I'm going to do a little, excuse me, I'm going to do a little uh, review of some of the footage that didn't make it to the um, it did not make it to the Bear Lake video because it was so bad. Um, I took my Sony camera, 
hiking, which was a mistake just because of how shaky it was. I mean, I have a GoPro with, you know, stabilization and, and all that, and it's an action camera for a reason. I brought this new camera like a dummy. I didn't bring the tripod or anything when I went hiking, so the hiking footage was just awful besides the one of me walking on the boardwalk. And so that kind of sucked. Anything that wasn't stationary really sucked. So I learned my lesson there. But uh, yeah, let's get into some footage from the trip and uh, show you guys some my drone go acting crazy on the lake and uh, some of that hiking footage that wasn't shown and just kind of roast myself for my uh, my rookie mistakes that I made on my let's just say first camping video. So let's get into that, guys. So the first uh, thing I want to discuss from the incidents of Bear Lake was uh, my drone kind of freaking out on the while we were kayaking on the lake. I took it with me. I was super scared. And in this footage, you can see like it just starts freaking out on the active track, like just zooming in and out like craziness. It's like it was zooming past us so fast. And like I was so scared because I have the controller sitting in my lap and I'm trying to make it look natural. But I'm also like not trying to lose my brand new drone over this giant lake. And it's just like freaking out. And I don't really know why, but I got a couple good shots. As you saw in the video, I got uh, a couple following us. And then I got the really good one that uh, circles around us. But this one, man, I was messing with it, trying to line it up with the active track. And it literally just like zooms past us. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was because Kaylee was waving the paddle, but this thing just starts going crazy. And you can see in the footage that like the rotors are like in the picture. It's going so fast that it, like the camera can even keep up. And then it just like kind of pans out and then like does its own thing. It was super weird. And then it kept falling out of the active track because it was like losing its mind so much. And then also like I was talking about earlier, like, I brought my Sony camera with me hiking, which was, like, such a bad mistake because I, I, it was, like, early in the morning, and I was just, like, grabbing my camera real quick to go for a hike, and, like, the footage I got was pretty bad. Like, as you can see, it's, like, super shaky. Like, I got, like, the signs and stuff of the hiking trails pretty decently, I guess, just, like, walking into them, but, like, here, walking up to this uh, wildlife observatory little shack thingy, I was like, oh, I'll get a cool shot, like, walk really slowly, and, like, but you can just see it's so shaky and just, like, basically unusable footage. I mean, it's, it's really cool, like, that they had this little shack, but it kind of looked like a shoot house to me, <laughs> like, uh, like a hunting little, like, den or something. I don't know, like, I don't, it didn't look like a observatory. Like, I feel like once you walk up there, like, all the animals are just going to, like, disappear, which kind of see, like, there was nothing in the picture whatsoever. It was, it was cool, but I don't think it really served much of a purpose uh, besides just something to hike out to, little shack thingy mabob. But, like, even the the trail, I would, like, set the camera down. I have it on the tri or the little stick that I'm holding and like try to walk really slow, but it just doesn't do justice. It's not like the GoPro where it can handle that s stabilization. And then I didn't want to go into Adobe and like mess with stabilization and all that because it just, in my opinion, just doesn't look like super crisp and clear, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, it, it was a lesson learned for sure. And then uh, the final clip was just really cool the morning that we were leaving. Uh, I just got a time lapse of me packing up my tent, but you can, like, see my breath. And it, it was pretty cold outside. It was probably, like, low 50s, but that's when I got the beautiful sunset pic. And you can see, like, the sun coming up there in the, in the corner. But it's such a cool clip that didn't make it to the video. So just some of my uh, shortcomings in the... Uh, filming department for sure I'm, I'm decently good at the editing and production part but it's filming is a whole different animal filming is creative and it has it has to work you know and and it has to look good and 
And for me, I'm like a perfectionist. So like these clips that may look good to you guys or to other people just are not up to par for me. So I just try to like, you know, brush it off. And I'm like, okay, unusable footage, but it kind of looks cool for everyone to go back and be like, oh yeah, this is that. But it's not like really good on the eye. So I just, you know, kind of kept that footage out. But I learned, like I said, I learned so much from this video and the editing process and filming and I'm so excited for this trip because I feel like I'm going to get a lot better quality of footage and then also it's going to be like in the Smoky Mountains and you know traveling in North Carolina and Tennessee so it's just going to be awesome and then one more thing I didn't take enough pictures for some reason I I took some on my phone which you saw in the video um, in the, the podcast video and the Bear Lake, but I just didn't take enough pictures. Like, I was too busy kind of worrying about filming stuff, but, like, I have a point and shoot for a reason. Like, I just get really high-quality pictures and with minimal effort, and I just didn't even think to do it. So, lesson learned, but anyways, guys, it was nice talking to you. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Excuse me. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my travels and this next week and a half I'll be gone but hopefully these videos quench your thirst until I get back see you guys